Among handholds suitable for controlling prisoners without the use of weapons is the elbow lock with half Nelson. Grasp the inside of the wrist with your hand, slipping your free hand under his arm, across the shoulder, and anchoring your hold on the neck. Resistance is countered by application of pressure to the elbow. A variation of this arm lead is obtained with the anchor hand grasping the prisoner's clothing across the chest. Another effective arm lead is obtained by grasping the fingers, elevating the elbow, and bending the fingers against the joint. An effective and inconspicuous lead is obtained by placing one hand on the elbow to keep it from bending, while the other hand secures two smaller fingers and the thumb exerts pressure on the back of the hand. A simple one-hand lead control is this, with a bent wrist and elbow locked within your arm and hand. There is little likelihood of any attempt to make use of his free hand. Any resistance results in agonizing pressure against the bent wrist. A primary objective in preparing prisoners for search is to arrange them so that they are incapable of counterattack. Line them against a wall with feet extended backward at such an angle that only by keeping both hands firmly against the wall can they maintain position. After completing the search of one man, step back and order the second man into the outside position. Thus you keep all prisoners in your range of vision and you are never exposed to simultaneous attack from two sides. When searching a man, always keep one foot inside his and your weapon on side away from him. At the first sign of resistance, jerking your foot will throw him. Another effective position for search is that in which the prisoner kneels with both hands drawn up behind his back. This position not only prevents any sudden resistance, but it is so awkward that any attempt to gain balance is readily apparent. In approaching a prone enemy, always assume that his helplessness is a pretense. Failure to observe this precaution may result in this. For your self-protection, first clamp his leg in a bar toehold. In this position, you can counter any resistance and search him thoroughly for concealed weapons. Clamp one of his ankles in the back of your other knee and apply pressure with your body and search for concealed weapons. Disarming assailant with bayoneted rifle, frontal approach. First, move in to deflect bayonet with a quick inside blow. Then, seize the rifle with one hand under barrel and other hand at breech. Twist the rifle overhand. Then, as assailant resists, reverse the twist. Rest the rifle from his hand. Now, in slow motion, deflect rifle and bayonet. Secure weapon. Twist from grasp. The backstroke may be directed either at the assailant's body, if he is still in a position to resist, or merely to return rifle to normal position for use. Disarming assailant with rifle, rear approach. Encounter against the rifle or bayonet at the back. The first downward sweep knocks the barrel out of line of fire or thrust. The hands are then shifted to the breech and barrel, and the rifle twisted to the left. In a quick reverse twist, step across in front of assailant, throwing him off balance and crossing his arms to break his grip. Let's go back and watch the leg action in this maneuver. Now the complete maneuver in slow motion review. Turn and block. Secure weapon.
stressed out. Counter if you wish. Disarming assailant with gun and shoulder holster. As the assailant starts to reach for the shoulder holster, knock his elbow upward and outward with a hand. This does not prevent the draw, but throws him off balance and positions his arm for you to slip your arm through and under to apply a reverse wrist lock. Pulling down and swinging backward with twisting pressure on the wrist forces the elbow and shoulder joint and keeps the gun constantly pointed away from you. Inward pressure on the wrist breaks the gun hold and makes disarming easy. By maintaining the wrist lock, the assailant is in a position to be disposed of by a blow from the captured weapon or to be taken prisoner. Now in slow motion, knock elbow upward and out. Apply reverse wrist lock. Note gun is pointed away from you. Break gun hold. Disarm. Disarming assailant with gun inside holster. When the assailant attempts to draw from a side holster, the initial defense move is to block the movement by seizing his gun arm at the bend in the elbow. Step to the side of assailant and slightly to the rear, then forcing his arm up and over into a twisting hammerlock, your other hand applies additional force, propelling the shoulder downward. The assailant's gun arm becomes locked by your elbow and body, and your right hand is free to twist the gun from his grip. Repeating in slow motion, seize gun arm, apply hammer lock, disarm. Disarming an assailant with pistol in back, outside turn. Although preparing to counter, give your assailant the impression of surrender by raising the arms, but turning head enough to observe which hand holds the gun. Strike with the corresponding arm, deflecting the gun, and turning from line of fire, and following through to develop a bar hammerlock from which the assailant can neither escape nor fire at you. Reaching over immediately, twist the gun free, then step back out of reach. In slow motion, give impression of surrender, turn and deflect gun, Lock arm, twist weapon from grasp. Disarming an assailant with pistol in back using inside turn. An effective defense against the gun in the back is the inside turn. By turning into your assailant, you again turn out of the line of fire and clamp the gun hand under your arm with an elbow lock. From this position, attack with hand to face and knee to groin, forcing assailant back and causing him to lose his grip on the gun. Now in slow motion, Turn in, clamp gun arm, frontal attack, retrieve firearm, and liquidate. Disarming assailant with pistol aimed at head.
In this surprise counterattack, it is important not to betray your intentions. Notice that the eyes are steady ahead, even though the counter has already started. The upward throw of the arm breaks the gun grip and places you in position to deliver a paralyzing kick to the groin. No further attack is necessary. Now, again in slow motion, bring arm up quickly, kick to groin. Disarming assailant with automatic. In this maneuver, speed and surprise are paramount. Keep arms raised and eyes level until instant of action. If weapon is a sliding barrel type automatic pistol, strike barrel with palm of hand, forcing back the slide and rendering the pistol inoperative. In the case of an uncocked revolver, holding the cylinder prevents discharge. Seizing the wrist with the left hand, force the gun barrel backward, twisting against the thumb. Continuing the twist increases pressure on the trigger finger until the assailant is subdued or the finger is broken. Now in slow motion review, force back slide on automatic, seize wrist, twist over trigger finger, pull down. Disarming opponent with pistol pointed at abdomen using outward twist. At such close range, the assailant's gun is highly vulnerable to counterattack. With a quick right hand jab, deflect the barrel, turning your body at the same time so as to be out of line of fire. With the left hand, grasp the barrel and twist the gun, breaking finger. Then step back to be out of reach of his hands or feet. Now again in slow motion. Quick right hand jab, grasp gun barrel, twist gun from grasp, cover assailant. Disarming opponent with pistol pointed at abdomen using inward twist. Again, the lead to the assailant's wrist and the turnaway are simultaneous, so that you are quickly out of the line of fire. In disarming, retain your hold on his wrist while forcing the gun barrel with the other hand. Thus, any accidental discharge of the gun endangers only your assailant. To conclude the maneuver, throw assailant off balance by means of a hand grip and step back to cover him. Repeating in slow motion, Quick left hand jab, grasp gun barrel, twist gun from grasp, cover assailant. Disarming assailant with pistol using downward twist. The rapidity with which the downward twist is executed makes it impossible for your assailant to pull the trigger of his weapon. With one hand, grasp the pistol and push down, striking up under the wrist with the other. This scissors action prevents the assailant from retaining his grip on the weapon. With gun in your possession, step back immediately. In slow motion, scissor action of hands, step back. Disarming assailant with pistol using sideward twist. In this quick maneuver, one hand strikes the inside of the assailant's wrist, while the other hand strikes the pistol out of his grasp by forcing against the thumb. Don't scramble with assailant to pick up the pistol. As he leans over, bring your knee up into his face, knocking him away. Then retrieve the gun and conclude the counterattack. In slow motion, strike wrist and pistol. Knee lift to face. Retrieve weapon.
In this analysis of hand-to-hand -hand combat tactics, basic maneuvers were illustrated as applied to certain specific combat situations. Obviously, however, there can be no predetermined procedures to fit all circumstances. You must master the basic techniques so thoroughly as to be able to improvise defense counterattack as required. And such flexibility of adaptation means practice, practice, and more practice.